Hello. Today we are visiting Natalia Sorokina. Very little time has passed since Freya, but Natasha has got plenty of new articles already. We've come to enjoy touching and holding them, it is such a pleasure. But we've not come only with this goal, but as well to shoot the tutorial on weaving a chest we've promised. Here you can see the finished article of the Eviva. These boxes have been very popular among visitors of the fair. That is why we've decided to pay much attention to them. But here you see that the unbroken lead is woven straight, very interesting variety. But we've asked Natasha to repeat making the chest with a curved lead, the one I've liked very much at the fair. Not a suitcase, but a real trunk with treasures. And in today's tutorial you will see the way the master makes them. Hello! Today we will get to know the way one can make a curved lead for trunks or cases, an unbroken one. I mean not separated from the very article. First of all, I'd like to tell you about the merits of Lego Connects, which is especially useful for beginners. It is so convenient. When we are creating a square shape, it helps you to see both vertical and horizontal rows very clearly. When we were just starting to weave and were fixing the poles with clothes pins, in this case you can avoid it. There are always slits like uh, this one and you can see the way the, your poles go vertically. You can do without closest pins. The same concerns horizontal lines. You can avoid drawing any lines because each row of Lego marks a horizontal line. When I've connected Lego of required shape I usually put a packet of regular sand inside. It can be shaped any way you need, either narrow or wide, any way. After I have placed sand inside, if it is not enough, I put a weight on top of 3-5 kilos in order to make the foam heavy enough. It was a kind of advertising. Now let's pass to weaving itself. Look, I have woven up to the required height. I have already lengthened the tubes along back wall. And now we have to make some curves at the sides. For the lead to bend we have to increase the height somehow. Here. In this case, because the side is rather wide, I don't weave with one tube. But instead, I propose you to make short rows without any turns. So let's work with the side. Leave two corner poles unengaged and stick the working tubes to the next two poles. I usually unfold the pole like this. Insert the tube here, drop some glue and insert it not to be seen. Something like this. Press. You see Lego helps us to press it as well. It would have been better to stick the previous one at first. This tube as well, unfold, stick, insert. and start weaving the row in the technique of a rope. Press well. You see how convenient it is. The foam doesn't slide anywhere. I'm showing to you slowly. We weave with our tubes up to the end of the row. Look, this is my last but one working tube. I drop glue here as well. And my tube remains. I place it downward and behind the last pole of the side drop glue as well and place the tubes as well tightly downward. 
Afterwards we will cut them so that they don't interfere. It is the row we have woven already. We were starting from the first and second poles. Now in the same way we will stick two tubes to the second and third poles. There are seven working tubes here. Let's start with this one to avoid being caught but by it. And now this one. Natasha, why don't you want to weave with a turn? Instead of sticking for the second time to turn the tubes and continue weaving. I do it this way to avoid big gaps when we continue weaving the lead. Look, here we finish one pole earlier. Actually, we are twining round three poles only. It is going to finish here and on the last but one. This way. That's all. It is characteristic for Natasha, everything is super neat with no gaps. Look, our middle pole will be so far two rows higher than the rest of them. It is what we've done from one side. So far we can cut these tubes a little so that they don't interfere. Afterwards, when they dry out, we will fix and we fix them, we will cut them still shorter and they will not be seen. We do all the same actions with the second side. I've already done it, not to take your time, but you can see everything. What we do next? We come back to our weaving. Here are my working tubes we're finishing. And now we weave one row in the technique of a rope. The whole row. This way, turn in the article and weave, pressing the tubes as tight as possible and trying to place the joints behind the poles. So look, after we have woven one row in the technique of a rope, here are the four tubes we have cut, I see that the curve will not be sharp enough, so you can make it sharper. We do the same actions for the second time. At first we insert the additional tubes behind the first and second poles, weave two tubes, and then behind the second and the third one two tubes more. Here you can see very well that when we were lifting it for the first time and weaving in the technique of a rope, we have gotten no gaps. When we have lifted it in one more time, we will take the working tubes in the same way and weave, for example, two, three rows up to the required height. It is where we are going to finish the basic box. And we'll start weaving the lead. So, after we have lifted two rows twice, we have got a curve of the side part. So the side part has come out higher than our regular weaving. After having lifted it, I have woven three rows in a circle and here is the last tube inserted, everything is completed. Now we will start weaving the lid. For this purpose I drop glue into every pole of the side and front parts. This way unbend, drop and put back. Very interesting of way of gluing. Yes, I drop glue this way, it gets sucked and then I like doing it this way, but maybe someone does it differently. I cut the tubes before the glue dries out. I cut them with such special round scissors. I press the lowest point of the tube with them and cut the tube very tight. And this way all these tubes will be dry. 
and at the same time they will be hidden and almost unnoticeable. Of course they will be seen, but when I tried cutting them dry they used to stick out much higher. When I do this way I press with my fingers and it seems to me to look rather neat. But I hope that each of you will share your own experience. It is really this way, the cut comes out very neat. I believe everyone has noticed that we took the Lego form out, otherwise it would interfere. We will be weaving the lid without it. While our tubes will be drying, let me propose you a different way of lifting the curve for the lid. Here is a case of the trunk that looks somewhat different. You see that it is narrower. If you visited the side land of masters, you must have seen my beige case with decoupage. This one is similar. In the same way the pieces of Lego connects are connected to fit this very size. I have marked this pole with a wide piece of paper, just not to forget that this corner pole is the one I've started weaving from. Having reached the end of the row, here are the two tubes this row finish with. Now we will try making the curve in a somewhat different way. Because here the side part is very narrow, I have acted like this. First of all, from the very beginning when I have decided to create this case, I have left the odd number of tubes on the side part. If you don't count the corner poles, then there are five poles. So we choose a ma middle pole and put the loop made of the working tube onto it. And start weaving. Cross the left side behind the next pole and the right part behind the next pole. We've done it. And now turn back. It is the same like Lena has shown how to weave beautiful holders. And the right part comes back as well. This way we've got a kind of knot. For these weeds it will be enough for lifting because it is narrow. As for these two tips, you can use them the way you like. You can add some more tubes here, make a ball and let it hang like fringe. Or you can make some ring of them, or just cut them. It is up to your choice. This way we have lifted to the side a little bit. When we weave a row two of rope, we will get a little curve. I have done the same with the other side. Here are my working tubes. Now I am going to weave two rows and we will start making the lead. So it was a different way of making a curve for an unbroken lead. So we start forming the lead. Look, if I take the extreme pole and place it carefully along the curve, then this way I have to get the lead. For this I fold all the poles. I'd like to answer the question I have been asked on the Land of Masters many times, whether these poles will be breakable. Actually, I have explained already that I tried twisting the tube many times and it remains intact. Moreover, I turn it not 90 degrees like the lid will be opened, but 180 degrees and nothing happens to it. Here I have 16 tubes. All of them cannot get broken at once. Besides, to be on the safe side, after the article is ready, only after it, you can stick a narrow 
stripe of sticky tape onto the band of the case. Or like Lena has said, you can twist a piece of sticky tape around each pole in this place. But I personally don't do it. I believe it is enough. I don't think we are going to open the chest so often. That's why I hope that everything will be fine. But you can stick with the sticky tape. Why after the article is ready? Because at first we will varnish it. So for the layer of varnish to be smooth, it is better to spread it on the article itself, not on sticky tape. Afterwards, the sticky tape will not be seen. You can see it on another case. So let's start. I weave every row from the right to the left, starting each row with the new tubes. Here I have folded two and a half tubes, they are short, and put them onto the extreme corner pole this way. Hold and start weaving in the technique of a rope. Twine in every pole of the row of the lead round. Here we have woven three rows in the technique of a rope. I have started each row from the right and finished from the left. Here are the remainders of my tubes. For the lid to be smooth and to lie nicely on our trunk, I fix the right pole with the clothes pin. While here every other three rows, I stick the tubes. Spread glue generously, take a good clothes pin and connect, connect and fix them this way to let them get stuck well. And in the same way, fix the poles along the curved side. It is enough to watch the extreme tubes. The rest of the tubes will be weaving smoothly. When we finish, when prime and I will show you how we are going to get the curve of the lead. While the extreme tube will help us to get the required length. This way we continue weaving. If necessary, you can make some pattern. I'm going to make pattern to match the elephants. You can weave with different tubes and the technique of a braid and weave up to the required length. It is what we have got. We have woven the whole lead with the required pattern. Let me remind you once again that I was starting to weave from the right edge, that is why all the tubes here were bending, and was forwarding them to the left, where I have uh, got the tips of the tubes glued, like I have shown. Now we have to place it curve-shaped. I prime the lid generously with cool glue mixed with water, and let's try to shape it. What I do for this? I take three long knitting needles, you can take two, I use the thin ones to avoid making big gaps, and place all the three of them onto the very top of the curve. This way, or you can move them closer to each other. And now we bend the lid, placing it this way onto the three knitting needles. And now we just have to fix them. But because the lid is primed with uh, white glue with water, and the whole article is primed as well. To avoid sticking, I just place the cellophane packet here. Afterwards, we will just take it out, and that's all. For the lid to hold well, you have to shape it. For this purpose, I just uh, tie the pieces of a rope on the chest. from one side and from the other side to get it symmetric. The point is that these knitting needles don't let the lid fall inside. They hold it and besides uh, don't let it stick and all the ribs lie along the curve. Крышка, 
Now we have to leave it for a while to dry out, and on the afterwards we will pass on to decorating, cutting the tips, making holders, etc. Of course, in this case you can only make the holder separately because it is primed, so it would be hard to insert, but there is nothing bad about it. And there is the same with our little green chest. In this case you even don't need any needles, I have just curved it and it holds. But here we've got uh, gaps, open work, but they don't spoil the view. You can think of some accessories or decorations, so on. Here I have fixed it with elastic bands and let it dry out. You understand that to complete the article, priming and varnishing takes much time. Primer has to dry out very well. After it does, we will cut all the tubes. Let me show you how I cut them. I turned the article this way, and after that, from this side, I cut everything smoothly with the scissors, tightly right along the edge. As a result, we get smooth edges from both sides. After that, You can take a sharp tooth, but I usually do it easier. I take a regular tube and stick it along the edge of the lid. Stick the loop and the button. And get such a lid. Afterwards I will varnish it. If waited for all the stages to be finished, Lena would have to live here with me for a few days. That's why so far I show you a half-finished article. Vanished and with all the necessary accessories, you will see it later in the picture. Because weaving a trunk is a laborious task and it takes a lot of time, and we want to make everything neat without leaving anything unfinished, we are presenting a result like this to you so far. But actually the master has shared all the peculiarities and secrets with us already. I believe she has explained everything in a clear way. You will see the completed article in the pictures because it was a visiting report. Good luck to everyone.